did you feel playing for this crowd? It was so, it was so cool. Like I really, honestly, with all of my heart, I'm saying this. Like I genuinely feel before I go on stage, like there's going to be ten people there. Because okay. <laughs> I'm still like quite early in my. Well, I feel like I'm still quite early in my career. So no, you're not. It's <laughs> it's it's really cool to just see people like genuinely excited by like my songs and really connecting to my songs in front of me and really like reacting to me and I'm reacting to them. It was just like it felt really really good. And have you ever attended a festival like this as a fan? Or no, no, no. <laughs> European festivals are like crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's there's something different about it. The energy is just crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. you wouldn't camp here. No, no. <laughs> I wouldn't camp full stop. <laughs> okay, <laughs> maybe one day. I'm just not very good at camping. I'm like more of a a comfy bed, All right. a shower, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I would love to come and just I listen understand. to the music. I'm gonna stay for the rest of the evening and go and see some people play. Yeah. yeah. Who are we going to see? I think we're gonna go see Toblo because okay. we don't usually get to hang around after mm -hmm. we've played. We usually are like on to something else. So it's nice to be able to chill tonight and do yes. some things. Yeah. I read that uh, you first got into music thanks to your stepdad who challenged you to write a song mm -hmm. in a week. Yeah. Um, in a week. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was, was it in a week? Yeah, yeah. It was, here's a guitar, write me a song. Okay. And I was like, I'm going to prove to you I can do this. <laughs> and I did. And it was about not being able to write a song. Because okay. I just wanted to do it so badly. I was like, hey, what? I don't know what to write about. So I'm just going to say I can't Yeah, do this. Mm -hmm. But he is honestly one of the most important people to me and really helped me kind of overcome a lot. But songwriting was something that started as him seeing a lot of pain and a lot of anger and frustration in me mm -hmm. and I'm so grateful that he saw that in me and gave me an outlet because I do not know where I'd be without that it's like music is a it's a special thing what is what you want to do yeah and it really has helped me grow so much as a person I really struggled as a child and I really didn't understand myself or my emotions so music was a thing that kind of helped me learn about like get to know myself yeah and your songs feels like pages thrown from a personal time yeah. <laughs> and that yeah. i think that is why people connect to you in this in hopefully such a way. Yeah. it feels like that yeah, yeah. just yeah people crying it shows it just <laughs> makes me cry i'm like oh my god but does it is it difficult to be that personal in song in a song or or not yeah it is yeah because it's i'm singing about my real experiences mm -hmm. and my real life and things that i feel and those feelings never go away completely every time i sing these songs it reminds me of the moment that i wrote it so it can be hard but it's so rewarding because my it's, i say this a lot but my mum really instilled it in me as a child that like there's a lot of strength and vulnerability and showing that side of you is actually showing your power and your strength and i think being on stage and being able to show that actually like things are hard sometimes but you can turn something negative into something positive and showing my fans that and showing people that listen to my music that it just brings us so much closer together so it's yeah i'm i'm happy i do it it is hard sometimes i get very tired I understand. Um, but it's special and sometimes people can get a different message to, from your that's songs. what's and that's so important that like my songs mean something to me but mm -hmm. they're all based on feeling and emotion which we all feel we all feel the same feelings mm -hmm. every day we all go through the same emotional feelings and so yeah people can put their own experiences on the songs like i remember when i heard adele for the first time when i was 11 12 years old and i heard mm -hmm. her singing someone like you or one of her other songs and I related it back to my situation of growing up with a single parent and without a dad and my someone like you was about my father but it was to her about her boyfriend so it's important to me that like people can relate in their own way. Do you have a title for your debut album yet or, or not? You can't share it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> no I've been working on a lot of new music so okay when it's ready it, it will be yours. <laughs> um, when can we expect it? I'm not sure yet. Okay. I'm not sure yet. But uh, yeah, I'm more than excited about new music. And I will tell you that there will be new music soon. I'm not sure yeah. about that. <laughs> I read that uh, someone wrote a very racist comment yeah. today. Yeah. Uh, why do you think that people in 2019 feel like they can say things and think feel things like that? I have no idea because I don't think like that. Yeah. But as an artist, I find it very hard when me and my peers, who funnily enough are my friends, mm -hmm. and a lot of mixed race artists are very much pitted against each other and that builds a competition. It's very negative. It's very negative and it makes things really hard. Mm -hmm. All of us want to just support each other yeah. and have a great time. We're making music that we love because we love it. 
and just to have like people comparing yeah i never think i don't see the color i just see yeah, music listen matter. to me yeah it doesn't matter so it's very frustrating but the right people <laughs> don't think like that yes. so, so the, my last question is can you recommend me three other emerging artists that you reckon worthy of being listened to yeah i'm gonna name a few okay um mahalia mm -hmm. she's amazing love her pieces hamza okay she's great and who's the last one? <laughs> one of my best friends, Lily Moore, is... Lily Moore? Yeah, okay. she is incredible. She's got so much soul. She's beautiful. I love her. She, yeah, she's great. It's like, I feel like there's so many strong female artists coming out of the UK right now. Mm -hmm. And it's, yeah, that's true. Definitely listen. <laughs> I will listen to that. Yeah. Can you say hi to Lisa Gingerly, which is my, my music blog? So Lisa... Listen Gingerly. Lisa... 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 Uh, listen Gingerly. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hi, listen, Gingerly. I'm Grace Carter, and we are here at Cigarettes. <laughs> Thank yeah, you very no much. No 